This legal drama released three years before Suits, and is the perfect follow-up watch. The Perfect Suits follow-up show is a 14-year-old show that was also on USA Network. Created by Aaron Korsh, Suits ran from 2011 to 2019 for a total of nine seasons, and follows the New York lawyers at Pearson Hardman, and its subsequent iterations, as they deal with various challenges. Led by Harvey Specter, the best closer in the city, the corporate law firm deals with high-profile and expensive cases. However, the office drama in the show makes it so much more entertaining to watch. During its original broadcast, it only enjoyed middling success. However, since it arrived on Netflix, Suits has been dominating streaming. Suits' premise is fairly simple but very intriguing. Harvey's hesitation to hire an associate changes when he meets Mike Ross, who happens to be running from the police while trying to deliver pot. Despite not going to any law school, Mike's deep knowledge of the legal system and eidetic memory, not to mention swagger, impresses Harvey, motivating him to hire a fraud. This starts their tremendous team up, making a formidable team for Pearson Hardman. Aside from winning cases, Harvey and Mike also fight hard to ensure that their secret remains that way, which adds a layer to the legal drama storytelling. Suits arrived on Netflix on June 17, which means that at this point, it's likely that those who started watching it around that time have already finished it. While re-watching is definitely an option, especially considering its entertainment value, some may be looking for their next binge watch that has a similar vibe and tone as the banter-filled legal drama. Luckily, USA Network has another series that fits that bill, White Collar. Created by Jeff Easton, the series premiered in 2009 and ran for six seasons until 2014. White Collar stars Tim Decay as FBI Special Agent Peter Burke and Matt Bomer as con man, Neil Caffrey as a duo. While White Collar isn't a legal drama like Suits, it has the same overall appeal. It starts with an odd partnership between Peter and Neil. As a convicted con man, Neil proposes a deal with Peter wherein he would be allowed out of prison in exchange for his service to help the FBI's White Collar Division catch his fellow criminals. Like Mike and Harvey, Peter and Neil make a formidable team, but their relationship transcends its professional nature, eventually becoming great friends. Beyond its main duo, White Collar's appeal is bolstered by its stellar ensemble cast, which makes it more similar to Suits.